It's 2.15 p.m. and representatives of organized labor and their affiliates arrive the forecourt of the presidential villa. Inside the brown room of the president's office, the stakes are high. The meeting goes behind closed doors. After an hour... If the mood in the room was any indication, an agreement had been reached. We're happy to announce today that both the federal government and the organized labor have agreed on a, an increase on the 62,000 Naira minimum wage. The new national minimum wage that we expect Mr. President to submit to the National Assembly for legislation is 70,000 Naira. Beyond the new minimum wage, other concessions were announced, including the payment of withheld salaries of some labor affiliates. First and foremost, that the review of this minimum wage policy has to be reduced to three years. That is, five years is too long a time to get any minimum wage review. And of course, uh, he promised and asked that uh, the Minister of Finance, coordinating economy and uh, budget and the economic planning should make sure that they go back to books because he has the uh, discretion to look into of NASU, ASU, and SANU and, and all that, and so that the, their money uh, should be paid. But that is not all. There is also a boost, like Mr. President has assured, in ensuring that massive investment is going to be made in the area of infrastructure. There is also a deepening of the investment of the federal government in renewable energy. More money is going to go into the acquisition of more buses, the CNG buses. Leaders of the labor unions took turns to explain their reasons for agreeing to a 70,000 Naira minimum wage, down from their initial demand of 615,000 Naira at the start of negotiations. Rather than accepting on a figure that you wait for five years, it's like you have to now negotiate even two times within five years with a view to going up. That is one of the reasons you know, why we decided to reach where we are today, because of the proviso that you, know, you can review in the next three years. Uh, the other one, we came with other issues in the basket, like the issue of Sanu, Nasu, and others, especially with that front by the Commission of Police, FCT. We brought it to Mr. President and talked on the need you know, for that matter to be addressed. And magnanimously, he asked the agencies concerned to work out the modalities for the payment of uh, those people, those workers in the uh, universities. So you can see that uh, we are taking this uh, well with mixed feeling because of the situation of the economy, but we have to move ahead. Why this became a catch? Because uh, we from organized labor, we have been pushing that the issue of uh, five years review is too much. That a lot of um, economic indices may have changed because we are in an era where things are moving very fast in terms of uh, both uh, macro and microeconomic policies. Uh, but um, with also the caveat that this is going to be done every three years, I mean three years, the next review will be three years. And uh, after that pronouncement, we from Labour just has been said that, well, we have received uh, what the president has, uh, has promised uh, from both ends. Labour had demanded for a living wage to reflect the cost of living crisis. The push for a new minimum wage began two months before the 2019 Act expired. The president then formed a 37-member committee from the government, private sector and organized labor to review the wage from 30,000 Naira. In June, the committee completed its assignment and submitted the report to the secretaries of the government of the Federation, but the parties failed to reach an agreement. The federal government gradually increased its proposed minimum wage from 48,000 Naira to 62,000 Naira, while labor unions lowered their demand from 615,000 Naira to 250,000 Naira. Both proposals were forwarded to the president for final decision. 
Another nationwide strike may have been averted in Nigeria. The president is expected to transmit the new bill to the National Assembly next week. But it is left to be seen how the subnational governments and the organized private sector, who have raised concerns about paying beyond 62,000 naira, comply with the new law. From the presidential villa, Adesua Omoruan, Arise News.